Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Scotty and welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Warzone video. In today's video guys, I will show you guys some of the best guns right now to use within Warzone. They're going to help you guys get some more kills, win some more games, and overall see yourselves improve with these meta weapons and help yourself become a better player. Before we get into the video, if you guys need help getting new contracts, finding good players to play with, or anything like that, feel free to check my Discord, the link is down below in the description. There's tons of great players on there always running games, so that is definitely the place to be. Welcome back to the channel for my returning subscribers and a warm welcome for the new ones as well. So guys, with the recent update for Season 3 of Warzone, there were some nerfs for some guns, especially the Renetti. That one definitely got nerfed pretty hard. Though it's still a viable gun, there are a lot of other guns that are really good to use right now, and especially in the SMG category, there are some that are taking over. So we're going to be doing today checking out some of the best class subs that I use right now for Warzone that I've been absolutely loving. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So guys, for the first gun on this list, it's going to be what is the replacement for the Renetti, and that is the HRM9. This SMG has been one of the most popular SMGs ever since they first got released, and with my build, it has great damage, great mobility, really good accuracy, and overall is the best SMG in my opinion. So for the attachments, we have the 735 compensated muzzle, the Princeps long barrel, the Bruin heavy support, the 50 round drum, and the folding stock. The second gun on this list is one of the best snipers right now, and that is the Moors. Now some people don't like this gun that much, and especially if you put the charging bolt on it. But with my class, this gun is really good, especially for mid to long range. It has great damage and a really good one tap potential for headshots. So for my class sub, we're rocking the Emperor long barrel, the SL Razorhawk laser, HVP anti-material ammunition, the super light 90 stock, and the O. OP980 grip. The next gun on this list is also an SMG that's starting to get a lot of attention, and that is the Lockman sub. Now this used to be a very popular gun within Warzone 2, and it's slowly making a comeback as it has pretty good damage, great fire rate, with really good mobility as well. So for my class setup for this gun, we have the FTEC M sub 12 inch barrel, the Zem 35 compensated muzzle, the VX pineapple underbarrel, 9mm high grain ammunition, and the 40 round mag. This gun overall is a pretty strong gun, I've been loving it a lot. Is it better than the HRM9? I don't believe so, but it is a great secondary to use, especially if you're playing as an aggro player, so definitely give it a shot. The next gun on this list is the XRK Stalker, and this sniper is also one of the best ones in the game right now. It has a great aim down sight speed, great mobility, and a really good one tap potential to the head. And for the attachments, we're rocking the Fission 60 Barrel, the XRK Nightfall Suppressor, 50 cal high grain rounds for the ammunition, the XRK Stalker Factory Rear Grip, and removing the stock with the No Stock Stock. Between this one and the Moors, I do think the Moors is a little better because you don't have to worry about reloading, but the XRK Stalker is definitely still a very very good choice for anyone rocking a sniper, especially on Rebirth Island. The next gun on this list is one of the best ARs slash battle rifles, and that is the SOA Subverter. Now last season this gun was not that great, but for season 3 this gun definitely got buffed and is a lot better. It features great accuracy, really good recoil control, good damage, and a pretty solid fire rate and mobility as well. And for the attachments, we are rocking the Dozer 90 Long Barrel, the 735 Compensated Flash Hider, the Bruin Heavy Support Under Barrel, the 50 Round Drum Mag, and the STT-88 Precision Stock. Give this one a shot, especially on Rebirth Island, and you'll see a lot of potential with this gun. I've definitely been loving it a lot and I think you guys will like this as a good AR. And the final gun on this list is one that's starting to become one of the metas as it has the same time to kill as the Renetti and that is the Core 45 handgun with the XRK IPv2 conversion kit. I've been trying out this gun a lot recently and I've been absolutely loving it. So for the class sub, I'm using as I said the XRK IPv2 conversion kit which is going to make this gun have a high fire rate and pretty much turn it into essentially an SMG. And then as well we'll have the 40 round drum mags, the DR6 handstop underbarrel, the Zem 35 compensated flash hider, and the KR X15 laser light laser. So guys, here we have it. These are some of the best guns right now within Warzone 2. Try these class subs out and let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these guns. And if you have a class sub that you think should be on this list, let me know down in the comments and I'll try them out. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to hit the like button to show support for all things Call of Duty here on the channel. And if you have not subscribed already, you're always welcome to do so as well. So you never miss out on a future video here on the channel. With all that said and out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Scotty, take care and have a great day.